So now let's move on to everyone's uh. favorite banger of Chinese spies. Uh. Oh, yeah. I wish I loved anything as much as Eric Swalwell loves betraying his country by banging <laughs> Chinese spies. <laughs> it's a passion. Jeez. So he came forward to. I don't even know why this guy is in office. I don't either. Talk Honestly, about yeah. impeachable. Why is he even a target of Chinese spies? You're getting nothing from I don't this even think there, I don't even think there needs to be an impeachment trial for Eric Swalwell. Yeah. Just someone walks forward and goes, like, uh, yeah, you know what? We think he shouldn't be here because um, he had sex with Chinese spies. I rest yeah. my case. All bang, right. Bang. Guilty. Yeah. Bye. Done. Bye. Yeah. Let's get herpes lip out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that's not herpes that's from Gua Sha it's facial Chinese treatment but he has the herpes from all the sex too oh, so yeah. Yeah, it's that's... both his picture on the wall I have his signature <laughs> you sound like a Favorite half black customer. half Asian female well that's just because I'm racist <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. you do it both in her <laughs> Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I, up is down, down is up when Eric Swalwell still holds office. Uh -huh. He cited, and this is him presenting his evidence, he cited a tweet from a Twitter user, Jennifer Lynn Lawrence, to prove that Trump's base was rebelling and committing an insurrection in his name, the banger of Chinese spies here he's talking. It has been an honor to stand up and fight for you and our okay, nation. See that we check will be mark standing strong on, on Jennifer January Lynn? 6th in D.C. with you. We are bringing the cavalry, Mr. President. We are bringing the cavalry. That's that what was he, the consistent message. That's what he used to say at the massage parlor. Like, he always come in, he tell us, he bringing the cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just his dick every time. Every time. So did they ride in on horses? So here's so the thing. The see, do you see that image? It had Donald yeah. Trump with the Twitter. And then uh, that was a fake doctored checkmark. What? Of Jennifer <laughs> Lynn. Yeah. She, she, she's never been. She actually came out and she said she's never been Twitter verified. <laughs> so the Why reason they added that was because, again, all of their sources are illegitimate. Not all, but most of their sources are illegitimate. I don't want to speak in absolutism like they do, but yeah. there are no repercussions for them. There are for yeah. me, even though I'm a comedy host. That check mark, <laughs> in order to try and provide gravitas, like, look, it's from yeah. a verified Twitter follower. And she says, <laughs> no, I've never been verified. Fact check. So that is doctoring, <laughs> that is doctoring evidence. And this yeah. is the problem with an impeachment of a private citizen, right? And you yeah. also have, uh, you don't have Justice Roberts, you have Patrick Leahy, who we've talked about this. Right. He is a witness, a juror, and the judge in this case in a criminal trial, which is why they didn't want to bring criminal charges. No. Guess what? You doctor evidence, you're going to have some problems. Yep. Yeah. You're going to be held accountable. That is a doctored picture confirmed by the woman whose account was doctored herself. I, I think they should be bringing this kind of stuff up, too, right? I don't know if the, the guys who are representing Trump are going to bring that kind of stuff up. But going back to what he said, he's saying, look, literally, they're going to bring the cavalry, right? That, that sounds like militaristic. Did they ride in on horses? Did right. the cavalry actually show up? Right. Did they come in modern day cavalry? Which what what is that? Tanks and like stuff. Like pretending we we don't have sayings. No. There's no. Yeah. yeah exactly. Metaphor. Like, metaphor. We're going to be <laughs> there to support you and make our voices heard peacefully and patriotically. That's bringing the cavalry, guys. I had someone. <laughs> Sorry. To, I had someone try to do that to me once. Who will remain nameless of the big tech companies? When yeah. one of the videos I said, "Fill your hands, you son of a bitch." It's a line from True Grit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, "Well, we took that as a threat of violence." <laughs> <laughs> What, well, you think I was going to throw you in a snake pit under the moonlight, you idiot? <laughs> this is the thing. They oh, try and, they try and, they, 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 there's a double standard here, but the yeah. standard that really matters is not just what people say. I don't, listen, I don't care if someone else uses, uses some kind of analogy, uses some kind of colloquialism. Yeah. I'm fine with that. My problem is when they present evidence that is clearly doctored and facts that they have to rescind, and it, it, they can't even say because it's untrue. It, it burns coming out of my mouth. It should burn coming out of your mouth because you're a liar. Yeah. Also, with Eric Swalwell, of course, he bangs Chinese spies. I'm also not a fan of his farting habit. That the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. <laughs> you, you get out now! All my girls complain. You can't go farting in massage room. That is crazy. That's you not doctored be, at all. You gotta no, be. No, it's not. You gotta be talking. You can feel that. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear him pause? Well, yeah, he did this like. Yeah, he raised up. Yeah, it, it actually blew him up in the air a little bit. Yeah, it's like that's he, powerful. He treated it like he was doing a CrossFit workout. What's really severe is they're lying about almost yeah. everything. Let me continue yeah. on here to <laughs> Ted Lou. Oh boy! Lou. By the way, I have a whole bunch. I have a whole bunch of gripes with Ted Lou. Just look at his Twitter, okay? Just, Just look at his yeah. Twitter. It's gonna scroll. I rest my without case. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy is so annoying. God. So breathe. He said Ted Lieu said that Trump told Mike Pence he would go down forgive my language Ted Lieu's just he's a vulgarian. Vulgar, yeah. He yeah. said that Donald Trump told Pence he'd go down in history as a pussy. Okay? 
This is what Ted Lieu presented. I think you have the overlay right there. Overlay C, token Allen. Good. Oh, All yeah. right. Here's the truth. The quote was taken from a Washington Post article that sourced it from, and I quote, two people briefed on the conversation. Ah. It wasn't the two people who had the conversation. <laughs> it wasn't even two people who were in the room when they had the conversation. It was two people who were briefed on a conversation, which means they probably read one of Ted Liu's tweets and considered it a briefing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel briefed. Think about this. Yeah. He, this is the, he presents this and he gets really, call, called him a pussy. Oh. From a Washington Post, which of course we know is a liberal rag. Right. And <laughs> a, a, a source briefed on the conversation. How is this shouldn't this wouldn't be allowed in any court of law? <laughs> right. It's called Objection. hearsay, right? Objection. That's hearsay. Yeah, yeah. it's hearsay. Objection. That's, that's hearsay, and I don't like you. <laughs> and it's not true. It's not <laughs> true. <laughs> Here, by the way, just in case you, you want to like, well, everyone makes mistakes. No, I think there are ulterior motives for Ted Lieu because let me present. This is the same guy who, by the way, accused Candace Owens of okay. encouraging uh, and inciting white nationalism and Hitler. I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets uh, the definition gets poisoned. Miss Owens said, quote, if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, Okay, fine. The problem is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. So when people try to legitimize Adolf Hitler, does that feed into white nationalist ideology? What I responded to was that I do not believe that we should be characterizing Hitler as a nationalist. He was a homicidal, psychopathic maniac that killed his own people. A nationalist would not kill their own people. That is exactly what I was referring to in the clip, and he purposely wanted to give you a cut up similar to what they do to Donald Trump to create a different narrative. That was unbelievably dishonest. Oh, Ted Lieu can never look at a strap on again. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, after that, Eric Swalwell put him in a wig and uh, invited oh, no. him to the massage parlor. <laughs> don't look at me. Don't <laughs> look at me. I don't think it was prudent for, for Candace Owens to, uh, generally speaking, if you bring up Hitler as a comparison or example, use it in the bad column. But yes. <laughs> yeah, that's probably enough. he was clearly misleading yeah, people right. on what she oh, said. Of course. Right. I don't even know if he knew she, maybe he's, col maybe he's actually colorblind and he has no idea who's sitting in front of him. I, I'm offended. I'm colorblind and I don't want to be true. Well, we associated do. with Ted Lewis. And you're heavily racist. So, so. Well, yeah. I mean, guy, the guy is pretty damn <laughs> stupid. Yeah. He is about, he, here, here's another one, by the way, we're talking about inciting violence. What about Ted Lou, where he uh, said that there would be riots if Trump fired Ooh. Mueller? If the president does go ahead and fire Robert Mueller, we would have people take to the streets. I believe there would be widespread civil unrest. We hmm. would? You'd have people riot? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no! <laughs> We I don't think that he was bringing rioters with him. Yeah. I don't think he was bringing cavalry. No. Yeah. They already had it pre-planned. It was yeah. pre-planned. It was pre-planned. But my they point knew. is, like, yeah. what, what about this? Yeah, we will have rioting in the streets. Put that in writing. We will have riot. Did you not say we will have rioting in the streets? I was yeah. talking about a friend. His last name, we. No, we, we just <laughs> we just meant protesting. Protesting's never gone bad in these communities around the country that feel like their voice isn't being heard because yeah. we said their voice isn't being heard. I was talking about midget, notorious <laughs> midget triad leader, Yang Wee. <laughs> Even CNN had to call him out. When CNN calls you out, it must be really Ooh, bad. Yeah. They called him out when he live tweeted insults during the, uh, the uh, what was it, um, the, Jeff, the Jeff Sessions congressional yeah. testimony, right? We have it right here. I am choosing words that the President of the United States uses on his own Twitter. I'm I understand those words that, but does right that make it the administration? But, okay, but does that make it right? I mean, do you like seeing the President use words like that? Like <laughs> lie and Ted, so then you repeat them? And until the President changes, Watch I'm going to keep doing it because I do want to highlight how ridiculous it is. Absolutely. Is it a, is, is that a grown up thing to do? <laughs> <laughs> My view is when they go low, we fight back, and I'm going to fight back. When, when they go low, we stay low? <laughs> I'm always low! I'm 5'2", I'm always low! Well, your mom and I are going to ground you. Is okay. that a grown-up thing to do? I don't know, I shop at Jimboree! Yeah, by the way, when you get called out about not just CNN, but the CNN B-team yeah. morning crew that I have to watch before this show. Is that an adult thing to do? <laughs> I don't know, I haven't been an adult for years. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if the media did this to all politicians. Yes. This country would be in a much better position yeah. right now. They have like a quota where they, they hit it like once a month. They go, all right, we, we checked a we checked a liberal, yeah, the box. so we're yeah. good. Yeah. Now we're, we're unbiased. <laughs> By the way, what, what kind of logic is that? He did it so I can do it? Have yeah. we not gotten out of like the fifth grade mentality? Or right. fifth, five <laughs> That's grade why they were talking to him like that. Like, Seriously? Is but when, that, Donald Trump does it, when Donald Trump does it, it's violence. Oh, yeah, it's, I want to be clear. Inciting that. violence. We yeah. will riot, but when Donald Trump says fight like hell, it's violence. By the way, 
hit the notification bell if you're watching right now and you're subscribed because subscriptions don't necessarily mean a whole lot. And we yeah. broadcast Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern. Just check in. That's the best way to do it. Uh, here's another one. We have is it Stacy Plaskett? How do we pronounce her name? It's one of those things I've only I read. Oh, plastic. So again, I'm di going through all this here. Why you should know that all of these things are verifiably false. Okay, you can check the sources at ladderwithcrowder.com. Stacy Plaskett, I think it's Plaskett. Uh, Something like that. It's close. So grizzly bears outside Plaskett's candy store. Sounds good. So <laughs> Plaskett uh, claimed this is what she was claiming, and this is what they're building as a narrative that Donald Trump knew about the storming. And uh, she said that that is uh, according to an article hmm. about an ex White House insider. An ex-White House and campaign insider, as you'll read, who has known both Scavino and the president for years, known said there was no way that Scavino and the Trump social media operation would not have been aware of the plan circulating online to storm the Capitol. Because, and I quote, the Trump operation closely monitored the web's darkest corners, ranging from mainstream sites such as Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit, to fringe message boards like 4chan and xchan, now called xcun, to the Donald.win, an offshoot of a banned Reddit community dedicated to rapidly supporting all things Trump. Now, if you don't know what you're watching, she goes, and I quote, oh, oh <laughs> yeah, that must be official. Something. Who she quoting the article was entirely based on anonymous sources. Oh. By the way, we just said the word of the day. Comment, anonymous sources. Hey! Hey! That, By the way, saying. this person, this anonymous source, if that was not bad enough, you know what they're what they just said? There's no they must have known, right? I, I have no evidence of them actually knowing. I didn't see them looking at this and go, yep, they saw it, they talked about it. I wasn't briefed on anything that actually happened, at th but they must know. They must have known because of an anonymous article in Washington <laughs> what the Post. Hell is that? Which I quote. How can you even print something like that? How can you much less go back and refer to it and go, well, yeah, that sounds about right. The, How could you even print it in the first place? And these are the people who want to silence all of our shows. Keep in mind, Washington Post, Unbelievable. Jeff Bloom yeah. by Jeff Bezos, CNN, Brian Stelter. They're saying you need to get rid of the spread of misinformation and fake news. Really? This is fake? Is this fake news? You presented these at the impeachment? Fake Twitter verifications, yeah. documents from people who were briefed on conversations when they weren't even there, and other documents uh, sourced from anonymous sources, and you can't even pronounce it correctly. X Chan X Kun. Oh God! <laughs> give, or Al give Al Sharpton a run for his money. <laughs> then she went on to. But to be fair, to your point, I need to include all of her context because she That's went true. on yeah. to yeah. Uh, cite a Donald Win post with twelve comments as an example. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> wow. Of the underground uh, scheme it's viral. Movement. Yes. Uh, is there is there a clip I? I think clip I. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, clip I. This is an example of a post that was captured from one of the sites dedicated to Donald Trump. Twelve that comments. We just talked about. Shortly before the site was taken down. Okay. We'll have more than 12 comments this very second that this is archived and we said the word of the day. Yeah. Just for context. And you can't comment live because that's a liability, but once it's archived, you can comment. Here's the truth. The first and only time that image ever appeared on the internet? January 6th. Oh. January 6th. Oh. So I think they think that Donald Trump is clairvoyant, like yeah. Kamala Harris, you know, where she can travel back in time oh, and wow, listen yeah. to Tupac before he yeah. was a thing. Because first black person. First black person. They're holding him to that standard because he clearly would have known it was planned ahead of time. Mm. How? By this post that wasn't posted ahead of time with 12 comments. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's Donald. That's the message board. It has his, it has his name in it. <laughs> I risk my case. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.